What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. What have we got today from comingsoon.net online? It's a little bit of a quick one. This is a short update on the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I've got a release date for this movie and a bit more of an insight into what the film's about and who's actually in it. So let's get into it. <laughs> The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. A release date has been set for Guy Ritchie's new action movie starring Henry Cavill and Alan Richardson. Guy Ritchie's next movie, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, will hit the United States theatres this April. Gus March Phillips, I have a mission. Lionsgate has announced that Ritchie's The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is releasing on April the 19th of this year, 2024. The upcoming movie stars Henry Cavill. Also, it stars Isa Gonzalez. Now, she's been in a few things that you might recognise. Godzilla vs Kong she was in. She was in Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. She was also in Ambulance. Also, Alan Richardson, who plays Reacher on Amazon Prime, which is into its second season, I might add. Go and watch it if you haven't seen it already. What's the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare all about? It's based upon recently declassified files of the British War Department and it's inspired by true events. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, it's about seven times I've said it so far, is an action comedy that tells the story of the first ever special forces organisation formed during World War II by the UK Prime Minister Winston Churchill. What's the plan? To neutralise the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. A small group of military officials, including author Ian Fleming. The official synopsis reads, Top secret combat unit composed of a motley crew of rogues and mavericks goes on a daring mission against the Nazis. If I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. Good. Using entirely unconventional and utterly ungentlemanly fighting techniques. No! Bad. They'll need to be. Good. If it's against the Nazis, good. Be as ungentlemanly as humanly possible. This is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. Kick them all in the balls. Amongst other things. Ultimately, their audacious approach changed the course of the war and laid the foundation for the British SAS, or Special Air Service, in modern black ops warfare. I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Along with Cavill, Gonzalez and Richardson, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare stars Alex Petiver, who you might have seen in films such as I Am Number no. 4, Stormbreaker, uh, Magic Mike, Henry Golding, Carrie Elwes. Carrie Elwes has been around since 1979. He was in things like The Princess Bride, Glory, Days of Thunder, Bram Stoker's Dracula. He was in Stranger Things. He was recently in Mission Impossible 7. Hero finds Tiffin, Babs Olu Samokun, hope I didn't butcher that, Henrique Zaga, and Till Schweiger. You know Till Schweiger. Till Schweiger was Hugo Stiglitz in the Inglorious Bastards movie. So the film is based on a 2014 novel of the same name. I'm not going to say it again. How Churchill's Secret Warriors set Europe ablaze and gave birth to modern black ops. Written by Damien Lewis. Richie wrote the screenplay for the movie with Paul Tomasi, Eric Johnson, and Arash Amal. The film does not yet have an official rating. I think it's it's going to be R rated or 15 rated or whatever. Because it's going to have blood and violence in it, hopefully. Especially where Nazis are concerned. Guy Ritchie is known for making 1998's Lock, Stock and Two Smoke Barrels. If you've never seen that, go and watch that movie. It is... Um... <laughs> It's absolute fire. It's, a, it's an awesome film. Snatch is another good one in a similar vein. Sherlock Holmes was pretty good. Sherlock Holmes Game Game of Shadows was alright. Man from Uncle was okay. Aladdin. <coughs> oh, I did The Gentleman as well, which I did enjoy eventually. First time I watched it, I didn't like it. Second and third and fourth and fifth time, I thought it was amazing. They're doing a TV show, a gentleman TV show, written by Richie. And it's directing a couple of the episodes. He did 2021's Wrath of Man, which was all right. Operation Fortune was a bit near. Nah. The Covenant was just like whatever. Run of the mill, cookie cutter movie making. But hey ho, there you go. That's an update on the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. And it is coming out on April the 19th of this year. <laughs> it's very good. 
me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now. Hello? Can't hear you. Please do off.